This vocal tract model simulates the human vocal tract. Please take a close look at this. You can see the narrow part is made in this pharyngeal cavity, and the oral cavity is widely open. As a result, the vocal tract configuration is exactly for the vowel A. Ah. Now you will hear the vowel A. Ah. Ah. Here is a liver. If you rotate the liver, the front part of the tongue becomes retroflexion. This motion shows exactly how we move the tongue inside the mouth when we utter a ra or ra. Now you will hear an actual approximant with this model. Let me introduce another way to produce the English R sound. With this model, we can partially raise the tongue body approximately 5 to 6 centimeters from the lip end. This corresponds to the so-called bunched R sound. Now you will hear the sound. In addition, we can simulate the lip rounding with the first plate. By doing this, the resulting sound becomes more like an R sound. Now let me show you. Finally, the lateral approximant will be produced. Let's go back to the previous model with which we produced the retroflex approximant a minute ago. This time, you will notice the tongue is extended and is longer than it was before. When the liver is rotated, the tongue tip hits right at the alveolar ridge. Although the tongue tip touches at the alveolar ridge, by taking a close look, you can see the lateral openings at both sides of the tongue. Due to these openings, sounds are coming out through them. By using this model and producing an actual sound, you will hear exactly the lateral approximant or the English L sound. Please listen to the sound. Uh, uh, uh.